Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of our FIFA 20 Wickham Wanderers Career Mode Series. In today's episode, we are in December. We have got December's fixtures to play out. And we have quite a few fixtures here. We have six different fixtures. So whether or not I'll get all of them done today, I don't know. Actually, no, we have seven fixtures. So we're not going to do seven. We'll probably end it at Swansea and do them two along in January maybe. Um, but, you know, my rule is anything more than five. We well, can do six at a stretch. Um, but, I mean, I do want to try and get through a month a year. So, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, but, as you'll see, we have Wigan at home. We then have Stoke away. We got an away trip to Preston. We then have Everton in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. And then a home game against Swansea. Home against Fulham. And then away against Bristol City. Um, as I said, you know, if you're new here, don't forget to like the video, like the series, if you're enjoying the series, subscribe if you're new. Um, of course, any comments about any players you want me to sign, or any suggestions for the series, make sure you leave them ASAP, don't leave it to a transfer window, for example. As I've said before, I am pre-recording these episodes, you know, sometimes I can do two or three a day, um, just so I can get the content ready for you all, so, you know... I won't be able to say when it comes to Sam Edmonds' window, let me know who you want me to sign, because it's just not going to work. Um, by the time you see that video, I'll probably already be in January, February of the next season. Um, but there were a couple of video comments left on the last episode that we did record. Uh, I have also done some stuff myself. So on my GTN, I have got... Um, basically, I went through all the different... Um, Things. So I've just got loads, all of these guys are either good rating or have good potential, i.e. in like above 75. So I'm scouting all of those. There's some other guys as well uh, across those, which is fine. Um, they haven't exactly updated in terms of the instructions, but I have moved the instructions. We are going for a defender, just for a free transfer. Um, and then... Someone's also said keep an eye out for some regen. So I had a look. I mean, someone said Akin Fen was regen. Uh, the other two, what were they? Basically, what a regen is, is when a, a player retires from FIFA, if EA will add basically a carbon copy of their player in that same league. So a player to look out for, for example, I know he is retiring this year. Well, there's Latan, and there's also Frank Ribachi. So if we go to Frank, space, Frank Where's Frank Ribbery? He's not even there. What? He was there the other day. Rib. Oh, his name's spelled differently. Um, but he's 36 years old, of course, 82 overall. He is retiring this year. So what will happen is they will put a Frenchman with the exact same positions as him in that league. Of course, they're only going to be signed to their club that season. So you do have to wait a season, then you can approach them. Um, we'll be keeping the lookout for Frank Ribbery and um, Thingy as well. And I'll have a look at some others when it comes to the end of the season also. Um, another per thing someone said is I can edit player. So I went and bought the edit player and I just edited the shirt on um, De Vries. And also gave him some better boots and just the standard copy as well. Um, but apart from that, that's everything. Of course, just to give you an update on how our capture card is working. So I bought the new 4K 60S Plus capture card. Um, basically what I'd need is a rather large... Um, well, I'd need a rather large, I guess you could say, external hard drive to save all the 4K captures on. Because um, I don't think there's any way I can have the 4K capture card capturing 4K, but only convert down to 1080, which is what I want you guys to see. I guess their argument is going to be that the capture card I'm using right now can do that. However, it's very hit and miss in regards to the, uh, the quality that it gives out. Now, the quality it's giving out at the moment... I'm playing in 4K, you guys are seeing the normal thing that you'd normally see, um, but we'll just have to sort of wait and see in regards to that. Um, the 4K, it, it might be handy when it comes to the next sort of generation of Xboxes, I don't know how much hard drives will cost me to buy. But we're going to go into the Wigan game, first team is all very much fit and ready to go, hopefully we can have some best form that we did last time around. Let's go. Go on, Adiemi, lad. There we go. 1-0. Wigan, we've been all over them. We've been slaughtering them. 
and Gomez and Adeyemi, the partnership which is going to take the Premiership by storm. We're 1-0 up. Oh, that's what we're talking about. That is what we're talking about. Look at that. Ping pong bang in the back of the net. Piss off, mate. Get out of here, mate. Get the fucking hell out of here. Let's go. Go on, playing for Angel Gomes. Go on, Angel. Go on, Angel, lad. Smack it. Yes! 2 0. Angel Gomes and Adiemi just sharing the love, man. They're sharing the love. They're up, so they're loving life right now. They are loving life. They're loving life. Life of the maximum, mate. Way, 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 way. Well done. Well bloody done, lads. Look at that. Lovely ball in. Clipped it in. And then, bing! Lovely jubbly. They're not going to enjoy this. So 2-0 now. There we go. 2-0 at half time. Fairly, fairly comfortable. I think the stats should also say I'm in control, which makes a change. Uh, we have a look at the match facts. There we go. The stats say I'm in control. Promising sequence. Can he finish this? Go on! Don't ever shoot it! Hit it! Oh! That was we've been piling on the pressure. We've been piling on so much pressure. They've nearly caved in there. Come on, let's get a good ball in it. Come on, get a good ball in. Jacobson, lad. Oh, hit it. Yes, it's three. And it's our vegan player. It's Darius Charles. Well, apparently he's a vegan. That's what they said in the comments. They were having a go at me because I was dissing him because he's a vegan. No, I said shit about him being a vegan. There we go. Look at that. Ah, oh, awful control. Thanks for the assist, mate. Pop it over the goalkeeper. It's as easy as that. 3-0, Wigan have gone to bed. Good night. End the game, ref. End the game. It's over. Go on, De Vries, mate. Have a shot. Oh, that was nearly... It could have been four. It could have been four. Jacobson, mate. Let's put a good ball in again here, lad. Oh, it's a cracking one. Oh, my God. It's Adiemi with a double. Joe Jacobson, our fucking boy, has made it bloody four. Two cracking assists there. Oh my goodness me, we are on fire. We are on fire right now. This has been bloody brilliant. Look at this, lovely ball in. And then clopped it in by Adiemi. Joe Jacobson's corners, man. It's going to be hard to take him out because his corners are so, so good. But he's just not going to be premiership quality if we can get there. And if we want to push for winning the title next season, then we're going to need some better defensive signings. Now... We are going to look at some free agents of course, well, some pre-contract signings. I'm going to leave myself maybe two signings and maybe 30, 40,000 on the wage budget to do that. Again, the, the budget is very difficult because we had that financial takeover. But uh, if we just need to put ourselves basically in good stead and make the signing somewhat realistic, you know, I'm not going to sign, you know, Marcelo on a pre-contract deal. Um, we'll make them somewhat realistic, but that was a cracking result to start today. Clean sheet and four goals. All right, then. So after that match, we do have some player training. I believe it is group number two for this week. And Gomez goes up to a 72. Gomez is becoming a little bit of a beast. I won't lie. If we can get his finishing up a little bit, he's going to be absolutely brilliant. All right, then, guys. So we are going to have to make some rotations for our away trip to Stoke. Um, we're going to give Samuel another go. I know he always fucks up, but we'll give him another go. Uh, Freeman goes in. Wheeler will go in. Uh, we'll have a new defensive or midfield line of uh, Thompson and Afoba. But apart from that, the rest of the team is fit. We'll keep the defence as strong as we can. We know what happened when we played the second team defence last time around. We got absolutely slapped about like a little punch of pansy. So, hopefully, we can go over something a little bit better this time. Go on, Wheeler, lad. Go on, Wheeler. You're through. Go on, Wheeler. Shoot it. Cross goal. Oh, my God. He's missed it. Oh, that was awful. I mean, Indy was coming in there, but he just was all off balance. Bloody hell. Come on, lad. Go on, Wheeler, mate. You're through again here. Maybe he can make it up. What's he going to do? Pass it in. Freeman! What a save from Jack Butland. Oh my god, how did he save that? Threeman actually put his laces through it. He saved it with his bloody thumb. Oh, come on, mate. Come on, Jacobson, mate. We know you can put a good ball in there. Oh, close one. 
Go on, Freeman, lad. Oh, it's up the bar. Off the post. Oh, we're coming so close here. Wet and windy, fucking away game to Stoke. We're proving we can put up to the mark here. We're putting our bloody shift in. And there we go. Half time. Still nil nil, but you could say if we had better finishing, we could have been three or four goals up here. We've had great opportunities. But, you know, the team are holding their own. Maybe if we try and get our our startlet De Vries on the ball a little bit more. He is, after all, our star who's supposed to have the potential to be special. Oh, they're through. Oh! What is that save? What the fucking hell have you done? What on earth has he done there? You bloody idiot, man. What is that save? Well, the keeper will be frustrated. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> what have you and done? You donkey. He's like, put a chip one in and he's just palmed it into his net. You fucking useless of no sack end. of shit. Half an hour remaining then. Ah. Oh. I can't believe it. We've been playing so well Thompson. and we've been shafted. Folks. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. Oh no, we passed it straight back to him! Ah, oh, poor defending again. Our defending is fucking killing us this season, man. It's absolutely killing us. Look at this. Oh, what the fucking hell is that? Darius Charles, you were fantastic the last game and you made a stupid error. Bloody hell, man. Bloody hell. What can I do? What can I do? We played so, so well in the first half. Second half, Stoke come out, and they're like the bloody Barcelona of Pep Guardiola. It's this Bath. Bath and Martins Indy have saved. Saved them. And as I say it, having a good defence in career mode is vital. Because otherwise you just get split apart by the computer. They're not they're not afraid to get in your face. It could be three in a minute. There we go, we've let in three. Fuck me! They're playing like bloody Barcelona here. They're playing like bloody Barcelona. It's a joke. What a joke. What a tackle, lad! Get stuck in. Oh, what a surprise! Bloody Alex Samuel, whatever his bloody name is, he's absolutely rubbish. He's rubbish. In turn, this has been absolutely shocking. This game, he's had an awful season. He's a great player in real life. He put an absolute shift in the final. As I've said, when I say a player's rubbish, it's not because he's not rubbish in real life. I mean, he's rubbish in terms of FIFA ability. And unfortunately, a lot of the Wickham XI is, which really doesn't, you know, bode well in terms of championship but it's all about form and it could be four here joe allen also stops the humiliation when it's four it's go home mate go bloody home you've been absolutely destroyed but this has been they just put on james mclean as well bloody i'll just get the ball out oh pigging hell what is mccarthy doing he can get out as well time to go mate time to go Get the ball out. There we go. Embarrassing. We've been embarrassed by Stoke. We couldn't get it done on a wet, windy day at Stoke, could we? It wasn't even wet. But fuck me. We played. We had five shots and he won on target. Ah! So frustrating. Alright then. So into our third game of the jam pack month. We're against Preston North End away from home. Um, hopefully. I mean, the first team is pretty much fit. Darius Charles, maybe we'll swap him out. He could do with a little bit of a rest. We'll bring him in for for Jumbati, take him out for Jumbati. But apart from that, first team's fit. Hopefully we can get some points on the board. The Bournemouth match, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Bournemouth. Here we go. Here's Onya Dinma. Onya Dinma. The take the shot away. And he's missed it. You bloody idiot, man. Just... Chance, isn't it? <sighs> Bloody hell. 
Any other opportunity, he's bagging that away. Any other, he's banging it away. Sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alan. Here we go. Here comes the Frenchman. Cash game. Oh, that's a disgusting challenge. That should be a yellow card at least. That's an, that's an encroachment. That should be banned for football for life. Go on, Gomez, mate. Go on. Hit it, son. Oh, Clark with a bloody brilliant challenge there, lad. We're getting close. We're knocking on the door, though. We're knocking on the door. Just nobody's home at the moment. Oh, I think we're getting a red card. No, we're getting a yellow. Oh, that was bad. Jamie Shackleton there just wanted the ball a bit too much, and he absolutely slammed him. That's a Yemi. Good pass in. Gomez smashes it home. And it's the Gomez Adiemi partnership. Oh, boy, oh, boy. We're playing so, so well. Do a little dance for that one, mate. Do a little dance. Adiemi and Gomez, guys. These two are going to be like the the Rooney and Ronaldo of Wiccan Wanderers here. Look at this. This is an absolutely fantastic pass there. And he just slams it home. Gomez, no difficulty at all with that one. Gets us a goal up. That's what we like to see. There we go then. Half time, 1 0 up. Cash K. Still waiting for his French call up. Uh, hasn't really been making any much of an impact, to be fair to him. If I had De Vries available, which I do, what I'm actually going to start doing now is taking him straight out and putting in De Vries. Um, could be a bad decision because we have got a rather congested month with fixtures. But it should be okay. Go on, Adiemi! Oh, he drags it wide. What are you doing? I tried to go across goal. I mean, it was close, but it just wasn't close enough, unfortunately. No! Oh, he got split apart, and that's all bloody... McCarthy's fault there. What is that? Ben Pearson, I've never seen him make a pass like that in my life. And I've seen him play a couple of times and he's never made a pass like that in his life. What a joke. Here he is then. Onya Dinma. Onya Dinma. Come on, lad. Come on. What's he going to do? Gomez, that's fantastic. Oh, and it's a brilliant tackle there. De Vries holds him off. Oh, come on. We're getting shafted again here. I bet we lose this game. I bet we do. I bet we bloody lose it. It's it! Okay, well, that was... That was not good, but... Ah, oh, come on, man. It's a joke. It's a bloody joke. This game, it's a bloody shit game, awful game. Just getting shafted left, right and centre. These players pop up like fucking... One time they're like Akin Fenma and the next minute his striker's like bloody Lionel Messi. My strikers don't do that. Can I turn Alex Samuel into Messi, please? Because at the moment he's like fucking playing... He should be in the bloody conference. That's how crap he is. Here he is, Adiemi then. What can he do against Clark? Clark's done, but so is Adiemi in terms of his stamina. Gets a good ball in though. Gets it to Shackleton. Shackleton turns the man. He's been fouled. He's been fouled in the box there. That's a joke. He's been fouled. Oh, we're going to concede. We're going to concede. Sinclair's running at me with a high rate of knots. Jumbati, please defend. Oh, McCarthy's done well. I'll take a 1-1. I'll take a 1-1. But that was painful, man. We had bloody good chances there. And they've just gone amiss again. <sighs> it's a joke. It's a joke. All right, then. So, some training. We have got De Vries and on, or Adiemi on that. De Vries or De Vries. Yeah, De Vries. Nearly halfway to 67. Adiemi nearly up to 71. But we have got the big game coming up, and it's against Everton in the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup. Can 
we pull off. I mean, Gardner Smith's like, hey, I want a chance, boss. Um, uh, well, um, I'll consider it, but you're not going to be playing. Let's have a look. We have contracts we need to sort out as well. I'll sort those at a later date. Um, okay, so the first team, I mean, they're not all entirely fully fit, but they're going to have to play. We need our full strength XI here. If we can beat Everton in the Carabao, I mean, we're not going to beat Everton in the Carabao Cup, let's be honest. But if we can, then it'll be a bloody monumentous achievement. All right, then, guys, here we go, then, against Everton. A rainy day in Wickham here, Adams Park. We're going to have to play this one carefully. If we can take it through to penalties, then I will do. Why is he not passing? What? What's going on here? I was pressing Y and he just wasn't passing the ball. Sigurdsson, not what he was intending, bad pass. Being Look, pressed and pressed. I'm pressing Y and he's not, he's not passing it. What? Basic controls. Is it put it on two button or something? It's put it on one button for attack. What? The fuck is this game doing? I swear it's purposely trying to shaft me. Here we go. Cash gay though. Cash gay. Go on, Cash gay lad. Pull it back. Have a shot. That was not who I wanted to pull it back to, but it's fine. We just need to stop Everton scoring at all costs. Do not let them score. If we can just beat them on the counter-attack, then we will. Come on, on your din, my mate. Where's Adiemi? There's Adiemi. Is he onside? I think he might be. He scored! Adiemi, we're 1-0 up against Everton in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. Let's just hold back. Hold back. Park the bus. Close the gates. We don't want any attacks. We are a bloody Wickham Wanderers. Up the fucking chair, boys, mate. Adiemi. Wickham need to sign this guy in real life. If they will, then I'll bloody love them. But Adiemi, mate. Karim Adiemi needs to come to Wickham Wanderers because he is an absolute beast. Let's go. We won mil up. What a tackle by McCarthy there. And oh, Holgate just slams us. And there we go. We're 1-0 up against Everton. I haven't loaded the difficulty or anything before you accuse me of that. But I don't know why it put me on one button there. Just to screw me over, I think. But that is one of the best start. Why would you want a one button fee for you can only pass? Why is that a thing? Here we go then. The French international. Cash gay. Cash gay. Shoots it. He makes it too. The international, he's going to get his call up to the French team now. Scott Cashgay, the English Frenchman. What an absolute beast. Oh my goodness, we're 2-0 up. Adams Park are going absolutely crazy here. What a first touch that was. Digne says goodnight. And little arms, Pickford, he's got nothing. He's got nothing on us. We're absolutely brilliant. I'm so proud of this club. Let's go 2-0. Oh, big save by Ryan there. Big save by Ryan Allsop. We're going to take, have some fresh legs coming on in the midfield. Shackleton, mate, you've done an absolutely brilliant job there, lad. But it is time to come off. Come on. Good stop from Allsop again there. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big save, Allsop. And Jobberman has missed it. Oh, my goodness me. Now Everton are turning up the pace, but I think, unfortunately for them, it's a little bit too late. They haven't turned up at all here today. They haven't certainly seemed like a Premier League side. And Adiemi says, give me the ball, why not make it three? Wheeler gets the ball back. Gets it to Gomez. Gomez says, give it me. Wheeler says, give it to me, we'll make it 3-0. Put the nail in the coffin. Everton are dead and buried in this Carabao Cup fixture. Oh my goodness me. 
This has been an absolute shock of the season. Wickham Wanderers have buried Everton in the quarter-final of the Carabao Cup. Fantastic save from Pickford there. And Wheeler's there to pick it up. Oh my goodness me, guys. What a day. What a day. And there we go. The crowd go wild. We've done it. Into the Carabao Cup semi-final. Dominic Gate absolutely loving it. Celebrating with David Wheeler. The Everton players absolutely distraught in their salmon pink kit. The fans are going absolutely crazy. Absolutely nuts for their boys in blue. The chair boys. Look at their fans. Some of them are in their home kits. Some of them are in the away kits. The wall of support over there as I like to call it. What an absolutely... What's the marshal doing there? Just saying, oi, keep out of it, mate. Keep out of it. But what an absolutely brilliant performance that was. Oh my goodness me. We dominated the game as well. Look at that. I mean, they had slightly more possession than us to be expected. But fuck me, guys. Look at that. I think. I mean, we're going to have one of the one of the teams to face. We got, well, Spurs. We're either going to have Spurs, City or Liverpool in the next round. And imagine if we get those at home. Having one of those clubs here at Wickham. Adams Park would be absolutely amazing. And here we go, the next game. We're at home against Swansea City, who are right behind us in the league table here. So we are going to have to be careful. However, our first team is going to be done in. So I don't think we can play most of those players. We are going to have to make some rotations where we can. So Adiemi will come out. I'm going to give Akin Fenver a go. Um, you know what? We'll play Freeman. Freeman always has a good game. De Vries is fine to come in. Wheeler's fine to come in. Uh, Thompson can come in for him. Shackleton is more than happy to play. The rest of them, I'm happy with their fitness, so they can all stay as they are. And hopefully, we can get three points. But it's going to be a tough one. But Alex Samuel, mate, you've had too many opportunities. Akin Fenway is hopefully going to come in and show him how it's done. Ah! Oh! I think he's offside. He's offside. Calm down. He's offside. But we've been in good control so far. Good control. And control is what I like to see. That's lovely. Go on, De Vries, mate. Go on, De Vries. What's he going to do? Cuts it back. Oh, what a defensive tackle then. He's found it straight to Wayne Routledge. Whatever. Freeman finds Akin Fenwa, who makes it 1-0. What a strike. Freeman and Akin Fenwa. Akin Fenwa, when he plays, he's an absolute god. And it'd be an honour for me to get his regen because we're not going to let him leave the club. We're going to keep him here on the contract. The most players we can have, the better. Um, and he still does He still does the job. I'd rather get rid of Samuel rather than Akin Fenwa. But there we go. Look at that. Shrugs him off. And then easy as you like, mate. Bashes it in. Goalkeeper's not saving that one. And we're one mil up. Fantastic. Oh, Akin Fenwa. Nearly had a double there. Look at us in our raincoat. We're absolutely raging. That was close. That was very, very close to going in. Akin Fenn was having a great game. And here we go. Akin Fenn was in again here. He's going to use his strength. He's been brought down. How is that a fair? I'm sorry. I am sorry. That is not a fair tackle at all. Let's just have a look at this here. Hide this. Fuck the slow speed. Look at this. How is this a fair tackle? Okay, he does win the ball, but... Ah, uh, okay. Okay, we'll let him off. He won the ball. Here we go. Akin Fenwa then. Has he got the strength? Has he got the strength? Has he hell? Look at him. He's bullying him. He's absolutely bullying him. And Rodon has to make a bloody smashing clearance there. We know how good the Jacobson and Kaliba. Great corners. No one on the end of it, unfortunately. Go on, Akin Fenwa, mate. Akin Fenwa puts the nail in the coffin. It's 2 0. Akin Fen with a double. Akin Fenwa, that's just earned him his contract renewal. He deserves to do a dance. He deserves it. Go on, mate. Do the bloody tango. Oh, yeah. Why aren't the other players joining in? Come on, that was fantastic. Freeman here. Look at that control. Ah, oh, a bit lucky on the bounce, but who cares? I don't. I don't give a shit. It's a great goal. Great goal. Well done, Akin Fenwa, mate. Well done. 
There we go. 2 0 victory there against Swansea City. Even with a rotated front four, they did a bloody good job, I think. I think De Vries, the, Nick Freeman, always comes in and has a great game. Wheeler and that such, you know, they didn't have a great game. But we shut Swansea out admirably there, admirably. Having a look at to see if we can see Reading beat Derby. It's definitely, it's very, very close at the top of the table. Very, very close for those playoff places. Here we go then. Time for some training. Session number two. Gomez and Shackleton. Shackleton gets his finishing up, which is good. Apart from that, nothing too great. So we got some more scout reports coming through again. I'll have a look at these in my own time. Um, I just sort of shortlisted the good ones. Again, it's all based upon that overall at the moment. Um, and then we'll... We'll shortlist some of those and see if we can go for them in the next episode on some pre-contracts. I'll also sort all our other contracts out as well. But second to last game for today then I do believe. I think Fulham was. Yeah, and then we have a game against Bristol City away. Fulham, I believe, are actually quite high up in the table. I would suppose they would be anyway. Uh, where are they? There they are. They're in second. So we could be in for a tough game. Aston Villa still undefeated, may I just say, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, we're six points from the playoff places. And then there's a big... It's that sixth place which we need to fight for. First team should be pretty much fit and ready to go. So let's jump into it. And hopefully... Well, we need to pick up three points here. But it's going to be a tough game. However, we've done ad pretty well against the better teams this season. And we've bottled it against the worst teams. We've just beaten Everton. Maybe that gives us a good chance. Go, man. Gomez shoots! Gomez scores it! It's 1-0. What a goal from Gomez there. Beautiful play. Playing the good in way. Playing the good in way. Nice and quick. Tick attacker through. Patient but quick. Patient but quick. And eventually we find a way through. The bloody fans, it's in their winter. They've all got their hats on, but they're all loving it here. I can't I think Gomez might be left footed. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. Um, no, he's right footed, but he does have four star weak foot, which is very, very good for this situation here. Front post OP, FIFA 20 broken, we're one mil up. Let's go. Oh, what a save by Allsop. I mean, I need to get a new goalkeeper for next season, but it feels unjust to drop him. He's absolutely brilliant. He really is. He's made some great saves this season, great saves. He has made some big mistakes, but he has made some great saves. But he can't save that. It's 1-1. Mitrovic scores. Ah, you bastard. Oh, what a big save again. Allsop with his feet. Holds us on there. Mitrovic playing. Look, why were these players wearing a cap? Because it's sunny, I guess. All our fans wearing a cap. This does not look like Wickham, by the way. There isn't a massive building like that near near Adams Park. But, um, yeah. 1-1. Uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Could be better. Could be a lot worse. Could be losing. And we're still in the game. Still an open game. Go on, Adiemi. He scores! Adiemi, what a goal! It's 2-1. And it's Onya Dinma Gomez to Adiemi. It's a beautiful link of play. Oh, you absolute beast. Yes, look at your lovely face. <laughs> lovely jubbly, mate. Lovely jubbly. Look at that. Beautiful ball in. Just sells that defender. Good night and God bless. What a goal. Back in the league. Let's go. Oh, that's a disgusting tackle. That could be a red card. That's, an, uh, that's a bookable offence, referee. He's not even going to give him a card, is he? Okay, he's giving him a yellow. Thank the Lord. Look at this. He went straight through the back of him. Look, no intent to win the ball. Bang. Right in the back of Shackleton there. Can Jacobson get this corner in? I'd rather him take it from like here. Oh, it's a shit one. Oh, it's not so shit. Oh, that was outside of the boot. That could have gone in. That would have been amazing. Adiemi through. Adiemi makes it three. It's another double for Adiemi. 
Him and Gomez are just too bloody good. They're too good for this league. They need to go up to the Prem. Oh, that's a brilliant goal. Look at that. He's saying, give it me, give it me, give it me, Angel. Give it me. Oh, and just sells him. Oh, lovely. Just control. No skill moves required. Just a bit of left stick. And a lovely finish. There we go. Full time then. And an upset to Fulham. Fuck off, Fulham, mate. You're not challenging. Not challenging Villa. We're going to be the ones to beat Villa. A beautiful save. Some beautiful saves made from Allsop there. Adeyemi with a 9.6. He could be in for some bloody good results there. Redden have unfortunately won, so we're not going to close that six, uh, six point gap. But we could be definitely closer. And here we go then. Final game of the episode. We are against Bristol City away from home. Again, we are going to have to make some changes because we have some players who are very, very tired. So let's have a look what we can do. So, I mean, Adeyemi will, Akin Fenn will come on and Freeman will come on. I'm more than happy to play Wheeler, and I'm happy to play De Vries. The rest of the team, I'd say, are more than you know, more than capable of playing on. So let's get into the game, final game, and hopefully another three points in the bag. Let's go. Go on, Freeman. Freeman, shoot! What a block from the defender! What a block! That was going to be a goal. Here we go. Can we get on the counter here then? Down there to De Vries. This could be promising. God. That's good. Gets it to Akin Fenwa. He scores! Akin Fenwa! Oh, Akin Fenwa is on such great form there. I didn't think he was going to score it, A, or B, if he was on side. But Akin Fenwa is beasting and feasting today, lads. Time for a dance. Look at this lovely ball there from De Vries. All the way, and just a lovely finish. Goalkeeper's got no chance. There we go then. Half time, one nil up. Let's take a look at the half time stats. Let's see how we're matching up against Bristol City. Uh, it's a fairly equal. I mean, they've had a lot more shots on target, but we've had just the one, the clinicalness. But we'll we'll try and get the possession stats a little bit more in our favour this half. But Bristol have been playing very very well. Can't. Can't discredit them for that. They've been playing fantastically. And we are playing a weaker team, so I do expect to get dominated. Oh, he's just taken it. He's passed it. That referee. Penalty kick. He didn't give me enough time. Oh, no, Naki Wells has taken it. No, Naki. Allsop comes out. And Naki Wells scores because the computer didn't give me enough time to bloody take the free kick. Oh, piss off, you motherfuckers. Look how quick he is, man. He's insanely fast. I tried to bring the goalie out. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. God damn it. Naki Wells, man. Piss off. Go on, Samuel, mate. Go on, Samuel. Come on, Samuel. Hold him off. Hold him off. Where is your strength? You haven't hit the gym in how many months? More than me, which is about three years. Come on. On your Dinma. On your Dinma. Oh. Manyapa makes the save. Can we get a good corner in? Jacobson puts a good ball in. No. A phobie. Fuck. 1-1. One, one. Because of that awful... Or the computer fucked me over again, by the way. Oh, God damn it. I mean, they dominated the game. We were lucky to get a draw. Anyone else? Where's Reading? Reading beat, smashed Preston. Holy shit. Alright then. Player training then to end off the episode. We're still... Well, we're now, what? Eight points adrift from the top six. I don't think it's going to happen personally. We'll have to wait until next season. But um, here we go then. Adiemi goes up to a 71 overall. Again, brilliant. Uh, his dribbling and his agility and sprint speed and his ball control are really, really good. Um, it's just his finishing that needs a little bit of improvement. We'll go up to the, the transfer window then. We've got the FA Cup starting as well. If we can get two good cup runs, then I'd be very, very happy with that. Um, we'll have a press conference. We'll do that um, just off camera. Um, Freeman wants to start. There'll be bigger games ahead, Freeman, mate. He's at the top of his morale anyway. Um, we've got captaincy suggestions, whatever. 
Uh, we do have our youth squad monthly report. How are our youth players doing? They're doing very well. Dominic Robinson doing, you know, he's got a very good potential. Dylan King, not so much. Um, but he's potentially staying at 94, which is good. Ollie Jackson as well. We might have to bring him out. I'm not too sure. We'll just wait until he wants to come out, really. And then a monthly scouting update. Have we got anyone in here who is any good? Mm, well, not really. The goalkeeper could be. We'll take him. We'll take Ethan Wilson out. We'll see how good he is. Um, again, if he's somewhat decent already, then there's no reason why we can't bring him through. Where is he? The goalkeeper. He's 56 overall. He can stay in there for now. What I'll do on the lead up for next episode then, I will, of course, go through all of our scout reports. Um, and then we will... Uh, uh, what is it? We will... Scout all of those. Of course, we can make some pre-contracts. I'll renew our players' contracts that are running out. All ready for next episode. That's where we're going to end it off. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.